Microorganisms are a group of tiny organisms, including bacteria, viruses, protists, and fungi. Although most of them don't cause us any problem, a small group of them do, and we call these pathogens, which we can define as microorganisms that can cause disease. As the pathogens can spread from person to person, the diseases they cause are known as communicable or infectious diseases, and they affect both animals and plants. Over the next three videos, we're going to take a closer look at each of these four types of pathogens and some examples of the particular diseases that they can cause. For now though, we're going to focus on how these pathogens spread from person to person, and what measures we can take to reduce this spread. One way they spread is through the air. For example, many airborne pathogens, like the influenza virus or measles virus, can be carried in tiny droplets that we expel when we cough or sneeze. Another route is through contaminated food and water. For example, cholera is a bacterial disease, which is spread by drinking water that's been contaminated by the diarrhea of somebody already suffering from cholera. Meanwhile, salmonella bacteria is spread by eating contaminated food, particularly chicken. Some pathogens have to be spread by direct contact though. For example, athlete's foot, which is a fungal infection that can make the skin on your feet flake off, is often spread by walking barefoot on contaminated surfaces such as in public swimming pools. Now, the only thing better than treating a disease is to stop it from spreading in the first place. The common sense way to do this is by being generally hygienic, such as washing your hands after you've used the bathroom and before preparing foods, and by cleaning cooking items, such as knives and chopping boards. In some cases, we can kill the vectors of the pathogens which are the organisms that transport the pathogen, such as mosquitoes, which transport the malaria protists. In the case of insect vectors, the easiest way to do this is by spreading insecticides, which are chemicals which kill insects. The best way to prevent a pathogen from spreading, though, is just to vaccinate everybody. Because if people can't catch the disease in the first place, then they can't pass it on to anyone. If all of these methods fail, though, and somebody does catch a disease, then what we can do is isolate or quarantine them. We generally tend to do this only if it's a really serious disease that could really harm other people if they get infected. So just to quickly recap, pathogens can be spread in three ways, through the air, through contaminated food or water, or through direct contact. And to reduce this spread, we can do four things. We can be hygienic, we can kill the vectors, we can vaccinate people, or we can quarantine people. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.